What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. Today I actually got some new little bitty cleaner fish for the guppy tank. And as you can see there are plenty of guppies in here, especially babies, but there are no actual cleaner fish. Got a lot of snails in here, but like I said, no actually no cleaner fish to help clean up the bottom. Now before I show you guys what I got today, earlier this morning I was actually doing a water change on this tank and some of the first plants that I planted in this tank were actually two little bitty subulata plants. Not very tall, only about two inches high. Well, I haven't even checked up on them, haven't really been able to see them because there's so many dang plants in here. But this morning when I was doing a water change on the tank, I looked back here in the back corner and there are tons of little bitty sprouts of subulata plants. Look at that. There's sprouts of it right there. There's more sprouts right through there. And if you pull back this creeping Charlie, you can see even more right down there. See that kind of grassy looking plant on the bottom? That is exactly what it is. Here's a better look at it. This is a little bitty sprout of it. I kind of pulled out to the front just to see how well it would do out here. And that right there is actually two little bitty Anubia sprouts that I pulled out of the peep over tank. I put it in this tank because this tank has much better lighting. So hopefully that will eventually turn into that and that. But all of the babies are doing really, really good. They're starting to grow more and more and just are getting bigger and bigger. And I'm really just loving this tank now. The plants are doing great. But like I said, I've been needing some type of little cleaner fish in here just to kind of scavenge the bottom a little bit and I figured the perfect fish for this tank would be two little bitty cory cats. So today I got two little bitty panda cory cats. You can see them right there in the bag. You guys are going to get a much better look at them once I get them in the tank. These guys are not only good cleaners but they're also some pretty cool looking little fish. Now I also did get one more female guppy that looks to be pregnant and also one other little inler. You can see she's pretty fat so I'm almost certain that she's pregnant and uh, there's other little inler right there and this guy actually has a lot more blue in him than the other inlers that I have in this tank so I went ahead and got that guy. So I'm going to let all four of those guys finish up acclimating and then we're going to come back and get them into the tank. So order ordered tank getting pretty dark. It's actually about time for it to cut into nighttime mode. And the little baby front toe. So these guys are doing really, really good. They're eating like little bitty pigs. And I think these guys are absolutely loving this tank, having it all to themselves with all the rock work in here and the sandy bottom. And besides the algae that started growing the rocks, uh, the tank's looking pretty dang good. Electra Blue Jack Dempsey's looking great as always. That's the bigger guy right there. And there's the smaller guy right there. Uh, but yeah, check this out. This was actually the light that I had on the Convict Cichlid tank before I escaped it and put the new LED light on it because it was much brighter. And I didn't have any other tank to put it on, so I just put it on this tank along with this light. Now, it's not as bright as this light, so what I did, I moved it to the back so that way the Amazon Swords could have the much brighter light. But this light has more of a blue tint to it, so it actually brings out the colors, especially on the Electra Blue Jack Dempsey's a lot more than the other light did. So these lights each have their own benefits, and I mean, it looks kind of wacky. So if I turn the brighter light off, you can see, you know, it's not a very bright light, but it has that blue tint to it, and that really brings out the colors in the fish a lot more than the other light did, and especially, like I was saying, on the Electra Blue Jack Dempsey's. But if I turn this one off and I turn the other one back on, you can see it's more of a white light. But when you add both of them, it brightens it up a lot more, and that light adds more of a blue tint. So it's a pretty cool combination. But without any further ado, let's go and get these fish into the tank. All right, so here's the female guppy and the little inler there those guys are they're gonna fit in just right with all the other guppies so i'm an idiot because i actually stopped recording when i took the fish out of the tank to actually get a thumbnail with the camera and i was gonna start recording again a new clip when i actually you know went to put them in the tank well I forgot to start recording it again. I just started talking to the camera without it even, you know, recording. But the fish are now in the tank. I mean, you guys didn't miss much. Both of the pandacories are right back here. And look at them. Already starting to clean. And these guys actually look really, really good in here. Uh, but I'm probably not even going to see them all that much. Because, I mean, just look at all the plants in here. And there's also this little bitty cave right back here. So they'll probably be coming back here quite often. But, yeah, there are just so many hiding spots in here for them. So I'm probably not even going to see them that much. There's the new female guppy right there looking really, really good. And there's actually the new new antler right there behind her and uh you can see all the blue in that guy that is the main reason why i got him because all the other antlers in here look at that guy most all of them are more like a red inler and he just has a lot more blue in him so that's the main reason why i got him but these little guys should be a big help as far as keeping the bottom part of the tank pretty clean and you know taking care of any uneaten flakes but for now i'm just going to kind of let those guys get settled into the tank so I've been having this problem with my clownfish actually getting over the little barrier wall that separates the tank from the filter box. Now shortly after I got these two clownfish, the Mocha Storm, which is that one right there, he actually went over into this side and he, he was actually on the filter pad right there. 
out of the water so if I didn't actually get him back in the tank when I did he would have ended up dying from that and recently the naked mocha that one right there he actually went over into the return box which is this one right here so he was actually still in the water but he was getting jerked around in the current and it probably took me about 15 to 20 minutes to finally get him out of there because every time I'd reach my hand with a net down in there he'd run and hide and a lot of times when I'm not out here they're literally just cruising against the wall as they're doing right now and you can see there's not much water that separates the tank from going over there so it's really really easy for them to go over there so I got this piece of plastic right here that I'm gonna put right there on the wall and hopefully this keeps them from going over there anymore and you can see it's meant to clip on stuff but when you try to clip it on there the wall is actually too thick for it so what I'm gonna try to do is actually try to get the light to hold it on there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the light off and then put the piece of plastic in place and then retighten the light and just see if that holds it in place I actually might be on to something here. I don't know if this will work or not, but uh, I think it might. All right, and there we go. So that right there should keep the clownfish from going over the wall anymore. And yeah, you do notice it, but with it being clear, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, I'll definitely end up getting used to it. But hopefully it fixes the problem that I had. There's one of the new pandacories right there looking great this morning. And uh, there's another one right back there in the little cave area. New female guppy right back there, and there is the new inler right there. So all four of the new fish are looking and doing really, really good in here this morning. Go ahead and give a few flakes to these guys, and you can see those guys just feasting on it. And you'll see all the babies start to come out in the tank and start to eat as well. And what I like to do is put a few bigger flakes in here, and then actually crush up a few flakes into some little bitty tiny pieces for the babies. And all these little bitty tiny flakes that don't get eaten and make their way to the bottom, those are for the little bitty pandacories to eat. That's gonna pretty much do it for now though. If you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and also let me know your guys' thoughts on the new little pandacories that I got for the guppy tank. Anyways guys, with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.